day one of London Marathon training. Can't believe that we're here once again. How exciting. So we've got 16 weeks till the big day and on the plan already I have a double run day. First day, um, some plans normally say rest. However, my plan is a double run. Uh, here we are again. Still day one of the training plan, still running. Just joking. Um, second run of the day and I did five miles earlier so I've just got to do four miles now try to take it at an easy pace this morning my legs were super tight just from last week like first week building back into a proper plan as in like week zero um they feel a lot better now and luckily I'm hosting some foam rolling and stretching workshops tonight so I'll be able to take a button to that and then hopefully my legs will feel tip top for training tomorrow evening. Second run done and I now completely understand the importance of recovery runs. So the five miles earlier felt a little stiff. However, the next run felt a lot better on my body. So the idea is there's sort of a shake out from the day before, get the blood flowing again, get all of the muscles and joints moving and yeah. Also on solo runs, I do listen to music. I have some, uh, oh, that's bad luck. That should be down by now. It's now the 7th of January. Um, yes, I wear these aftershocks and bone conducting so you can still hear other things. However, the, the sound that I have them on can't always hear everything going on around you. So it can be a little dangerous, but yeah, for solo runs, I just like to have the music in, switch off, it's me time, just to forget about everything else and just to run. The low down, but it's good to get the pressure all the way from the knee up to the <laughs> So, it's Tuesday and I'm sat in the dark because I'm waiting in my car for Tuesday's session and the coach is sitting in the car right next to me. So I'm trying to hide. Help me! Day two of marathon training, done and dusted. Um, I'm literally riding the post run endorphin high right now, but at the time during that run, I was not. So on Tuesday, it's just a bit of a background. If you watch my videos last year, on Tuesdays was intervals day, and I used to do these on my own. However, now I have joined a group. We are called Team Tongwell as we run around Tongwell Lake. Um, basically, it's a group that James is part of. We have a coach that sets us sessions. And today, um, so I've been with this group now probably about three, four, five months now, I'd say. And it's really good because you run in um, groups and it just helps you, it sort of drags you along rather than you going out on your own, basically. And today's session, we found out what the session was beforehand because James went out and did it in the daytime. He's gone to a football match tonight. So I knew what the session was before. It was, um, we do a warm up just to make sure that everything's ready for the session and all prepped. And then it was two miles at target 10K pace, 90 seconds recovery, one mile at 5K, target 5K pace, 90 seconds recovery, and then another two miles at um, 10K pace once again. Now, let's just say I didn't hit any of my target times, um, so that's where we're at. But the coach did say that that might be the case. I don't think many people hit their target times, but it's something to work for. Now, in the past, if I would have done something like this and I wasn't doing what hitting the session time that I needed to, I would have just crumbled and just given up. However, today, I just thought you, just, you can just do what you got to do. Well, just do what you can only do, as it is only day two of marathon training. Um, so, you know, it's something to work towards. It gives me a base and um, I did put effort in. You can see by my hair, it's literally like stuck to my head. Fantastic. But... Today's plan is an hour. Um, <clears throat> sorry. As you can hear, I'm really struggling at the mo moment with like a cough. It's been lingering since Christmas and it's turned like from a cold into a cough. There's a lot going around at the minute. So it is currently, two o'clock in the afternoon I have just finished up with clients I've been in the studio since 6 a.m so right now I am quite tired um and also I was having a chat with my coach last night um and said that my heart rate has been really high on every run whether it's a tempo run an interval run an easy run and he said that just basically means that I'm fatigued and tired um training can't stop 
so he has just said to slow the pace down on easy runs so long runs easy runs he said it might feel like you're crawling but you've just really got to slow it down in four weeks time you'll feel the benefits um as i am feeling tired today anyway i am just gonna see how i get on i've parked up at um coldicott lake this is where i normally come and do some of my speed works from working in the studio because it's really local and it's pretty flat compared to somewhere near my house so I'm just hoping for a good run. I'm gonna switch on a podcast and just kind of listen to that and just hopefully let my legs, my legs do the work. Almost done with my hour run and pretty beautiful lake and surroundings. It is a bit chilly today, but on a summer's day, it's pretty stunning. anyone that knows me well I really dislike tempo runs I have seven miles on the plan um but because I'm not feeling too well I'm just gonna try and see what I can do today so serious business as well with the half hat and the snood but I'm just gonna go for a seven miles steady run um, at one miles warm up seven miles steady eight miles done now the gloves came off within three miles ridiculous it is like cold out here, but and when you're working harder, so your heart rate's higher, blood's pumping more, it's going to make you warmer. So, recap of the run one mile warm up, that 8 38 40 pace, I think. And then the target was on the plan seven miles at seven minute pace. Now, I don't feel like I'm quite at that fitness yet. I've got a real chesty cough going on right at the moment, and also I've got like a bit of a pain in my like inside of my leg groin um but some of the miles were like 703 707 there was a few that was like seven there was one that was like 717 one that was like 724 but that was because it literally the whole mile was like uphill and that was mile seven and then my fastest mile was the last one at 658 so for the fact that i was dreading this run and i didn't let my head win that i wasn't like bang on seven minute miles or under or not even like near my target half marathon pace that's okay because I've done it, I've tried, put effort in, and obviously just being ill is not making the situation any easier. Let's just hope this goes before next weekend, because next weekend we've got Fred Hughes 10. And last year, I think I averaged about 6.54 or something pace, so fingers crossed. I'm better, and in a race environment, I can do better than today. <laughs> six of marathon training yesterday was a rest day um active rest as i went to yoga at sweat studios and today is the chiltern league cross country match four at kiso the course is pretty pretty flat um apart from there's a water jump that you basically just have to run through really fast try not to get as wet as possible but i will take you along with us and then Week one wraps up tomorrow with a long run. Just about Wendy for the warm up. So we are at Kiso. It's a two lap course. We go through a nice water jump. It's relatively flat. Wendy, I'm just going to see how we get on. Can't we're going to go smash it. See? Let's go. <laughs> First Sunday on the plan and today we have 15 miles. Now for anyone out there that is running the London Marathon or any other marathon, and worrying that 15 miles is quite a lot and it's not compared it's like compared to their plan don't panic um i have been doing long runs on sundays for quite a while now and my body can has built up to this distance so for anyone that's only got eight or ten miles on their plans at this stage do not fear you've got plenty of time 
just a bit quick uh, a quick recap from yesterday so it was the cross country uh, we're in the Chiltern League and it was match four that's the second one I've done this round I have missed two this year um, or this season should I say um, I'm a bit apprehensive beforehand I have a love hate relationship with cross country I either have like a quite a good race or sometimes quite a terrible race um, I guess it's just pushing outside your comfort zone and sometimes I find that quite difficult However, the aim of yesterday, despite being a bit, little bit nervous, was just to turn up and just try and do my best. Obviously, that's all I can do. Um, and was just to try and beat the time from the year before. The course hadn't changed, so it's exactly the same. So it, I just wanted to see like for like where I was at this stage. Um, <clears throat> I did look at the stats from last year and I went off far too hard in the first mile and then paid for it on the, on the later miles. So I kept quite good consistency. So, what did I do? Take myself to the front, about a third of a mile in, I looked at my watch, 6.14 pace, ah! But the first bit is downhill. But anyway, um, then tried to ease it off, but I felt comfortable, and the idea was just to do the, it was a two lap course, so do the first lap and feel comfortable-ish, and then push through the second, second lap. Um, and yesterday I just felt strong, it was good. It was really good. I was, um, when you do cross country, you start to understand like people of like the same ability and you see the same people on the course. And um, yeah, I was able to sort of push past a few people yesterday and I kept like for most of the, the race was able to sort of like overtake people. So that was quite a good feeling. So I felt strong. Um, I finished almost a minute quicker than last year first female from the Redway Runners, so first home from our club and 37th overall. I thought that was a really good um, place. However, I looked at last year's stats and I was 29th on that course, but obviously there must have been more people there today that were quicker than me, but really happy. And then today's plan, I'm going out with um, some of my clients, well, and friends. Um, they've all got 12 miles on their plan. So we've got a 12 mile route planned out and then I'm gonna run home after that. So I'm just waiting for Anna, the lovely Anna to collect me. And then we'll get started. So we're five miles into the run now. And uh, normally on a long run, I wouldn't take too much fuel. However, my strategy for the marathon is going to be gels every 5, 10, 15, and 20. Not every 5, 10, 15, but you know, they're the mark. the markers that will be taking them. So I'm consciously making an effort in my long runs to take fuel on at that stage of my body I'm used to it digesting it at mile 10 and this means the guys have only got two miles left this means I'm two thirds of the way through legs are a bit achy from yesterday's cross country I survived 15 miles done now that was pretty tough today um just because the insides of my legs are really really hurting um so just like trying to lift my legs up my knees up it's just been a bit difficult today but like in terms of heart rate and stuff felt absolutely fine spot on the group took it quite like steady today which is nice so I averaged out at nine minute mile pace um but yeah i'm just hoping i've got a sports massage booked next week on thursday and i'm just going to carry on stretching and foam rolling and doing all the all the normal bits might have a bath but yeah round up of week one it's been good 50.4 miles in total a good cross country race tested myself with the tempo run so yeah really happy um and now on to week two